it may be quick so once you enter the registration desk and the system is allotted to you in a particular labs randomly so for now this system is lab 01001 and this time this system is allotted to you and this how it looks like that is your name and what is subject subject is practical skill test and basic computer skills and the left side is the registration photo this photo is the one which you are uploaded during the registration in the website and this photo the right side one is the live cam photo taken at the registration desk so you just need to both match the both if there is any discrepancy please call out to the proctor just click on continue this is where you log in uh, the password is not there in the admit card so you just need to enter the date of birth here so your date of birth just click login and these are the basic details here that is your name subject and test date so this is the dummy because i'm this is only for your understanding i'm doing this video a presentation and this is your hall ticket number and this is the date which i have recorded this session okay next is this is the photo next click continue these are the basic instructions please read them all carefully okay this is related to the subject so in the in here the exam date is 5th november and we have four subjects ms word ms excel ms powerpoint and access for completing these four you you require 60 minutes that is one hour of time and there are 35 questions overall which are distributed among the sections so for example in ms word we have 10 questions okay each question carry one mark so 10 into 1 that is 10 marks for excel we have 10 questions but each question here carries two marks so 10 into 2 20 so similarly overall there is 50 marks for 35 questions that you need to answer in 60 minutes and uh likewise please read all the instructions and click i agree and here once the questions which are unanswered okay it will be in blue color once you answer it it will turn into green and how to answer it we will see so next this is the page where you stop that is here we have a little bit details okay minimal details you can just go through and here you stop because if your reporting time is 1 hour before the main exam starts at that time this process i think for each candidate takes some 5 to 10 minutes or 15 to 20 minutes it depends on the queue and depends on the registration desk how fast is doing so once you enter you can read the instructions blah 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 and come here and you need to wait until the administrator would start the test on the right scheduled time so let me start the test for you as you can see your exam is started and this is the post you applied and this is your name that you are logged in and this is the timer see as told it is 60 minutes so here you can see 60 minutes and ticking down okay next the total number of question answered is 0 for now because i just started the exam so here we have the active sub active section that is ms word and other subjects you can access from other sections you can access from here that is excel access and powerpoint so total you have four sections as you have seen in the instructions okay so this is where the question comes and then marks allotted to it so this is where i so whatever the uh, the questions describes what the task need to be performed so likewise you need to do so okay for example it, it may ask to save it may ask to open a document it may ask to create a new document or bold italic under okay so for now i'm just going to give a quick description that is this is a quick toolbar okay where you can access the menu directly and this is the menu okay in menu we have other options also see in file edit view insert format tools and tables so using this menu and its option you have to do the task based on the questions that is asked in the here see for word it is the first question second question so for example the first question if i am selecting something and making it bold click yes and once you come to the second question that is the another another question the previous question which you had done it will be turn into green and submitted to the server okay next if you are doing this is the second question this is the ms word second question so if i am doing some italic thing okay 
I don't know whether it will come on the main exam or not, but only for reference how I'm using the quick toolbar. That's all. Okay? Only for your reference. So like likewise, you need to answer each and every question and its related mark is already mentioned over there. Next, if you come to Excel, okay, please make sure I'm repeating, please make sure, please make use of this menu and its options carefully based on the questions asked. Next, come, coming to the Excel. In Excel, if you see by default, all the menus and everything is disabled. Okay. So what here you need to do is only the cell which is asked in the question, only that will be active. See, other section, other cells is inactive. Only the cell which has been asked in the question, it will be active. Then you need to perform as per the question and you just need to input the questions. Okay. So one thing I want to make it clear, no shortcut keys would be working in the entire exam. That is control A for selecting all or control C for copy, control V for paste or control S for save, nothing. No shortcut keys or tab for moving to next cell, no. So you need to use mouse and for input, you need to use the keyboard. Okay. So this is how you need to do it. So once you go to the second question, after doing the task in the previous one, the previous question which you have done the task or the event, it will become, it will be submitted to the server and it will become green. Okay. See, this is the now, now we are coming to the Excel dummy question, second question. So whatever the thing or any formula or anything, it may ask anything. So that you need to enter and you need to click some, some other place or just click enter. Okay. Then just click on the next question because I have not answered anything in second question. It is still blue or if I do anything, okay, see, once you click on next, the previous question will be submitted. Similarly with access, because this is the access dummy question, uh, you can do anything how, uh, based on the question. You have five questions here and regarding PPT, you have 10 questions here. So first question, second question. So like this, then Excel access. So all four things, all four sections, you can access here for the entire 60 minutes of time. Okay. So for now, uh, I just want to close the exam, but remember there is no submit button. There is no, I have completed the test button. Okay. Nothing is there. You need to do it for the entire 60 minutes for completely but for this demo session i am going to reduce the time and i am going to continue so please wait as you can see i have reduced the time to 30 seconds and ticking down so whatever the remaining time you have please uh, make sure you utilize it properly by going to the questions you can review you can change the answers or the tasks okay then you can submit it means for that particular question like likewise Okay, that is any task you do, if you do anything, okay, it will ask, do you want to submit the answer anyway? Now the timer has hit zero and you can see once it hits zero, that allotted time of 60 minutes for the test is over, click on the continue button to complete the test. Okay, just click continue. So this is the final message you will get on the screen. That means your test is submitted successfully. You may call out to the proctor or just raise your hand. The proctor come to your place. He will see this message. Then he will let you go of the lab. Okay. Thank you.